You've probably heard people taking magnesium and asking them, which one did you take? There are a lot of companies, a lot of variations. You might have a deficiency. We've already made a video. I'll link it up here. Or your doctor told you to take magnesium because you have a deficiency that showed in your blood work. But which one should you take? But first of all, let's address what is magnesium. Magnesium is an essential mineral with various types. Each one serves a different purpose. When we go to the pharmacy and we ask them, I need magnesium, you need it for what? We have 10 different types of magnesium. Which one do you want depending on what you need? So if you want magnesium for sleep, it's different from magnesium as a laxative. Today we're going to clarify all of that. But before we do so, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're not already to see more medical videos. So usually magnesium can be combined with other components, let's say amino acids. When we combine magnesium with any other component, let's say citric acid, will give us magnesium citrate. Magnesium with glycine, which is an amino acid, will give us magnesium glycinate. Let's break them down. The first one will be magnesium citrate. It's highly bioavailable and good for the digestive health. It has a laxative effect, so it can be used for constipation and supports overall digestion. The second one, magnesium glycinate, which is magnesium with glycine. It has a high absorption rate and it's gentle on the stomach. So it's less likely to cause diarrhea compared to others. And it's the ideal solution to improve sleep quality and reduce anxiety. The third one is magnesium Magnesium oxide. Magnesium oxide is the one used for magnesium deficiency. Whenever you have magnesium deficiency, ask for magnesium oxide, which is magnesium and oxygen. The fourth one would be magnesium and malic acid, which gives us magnesium malate. Magnesium malate is good for energy production and often used to support muscle function and reduce fatigue. It is recommended for fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue syndrome. The fifth one is magnesium thyronate, which is magnesium and thyronic acid. It has potential benefits for cognitive function and memory because it has the ability to penetrate the blood-brain barrier. Magnesium chloride, which is magnesium and chloride obviously, is the one used for hydration products. It can be used topically and it supports skin health and detoxification. The last one would be magnesium taurate, which is magnesium and tauric acid. It supports cardiovascular health by managing blood pressure and heart rhythm. These are the magnesium supplements that are available in the market right now. You can find most of them in your country. In some countries, you can't find any of these. In some, you can find more than these. These are more of the general ones. If you have any other variation of magnesium in your country right now, please leave a comment down below saying what it is and what does it do. We can all benefit from this information. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and comment down below what you want to know about next. And I'll see you in the next one.